guys, welcome to my top 3 tips series. I'm Elena Long. All too often my clients come to me with the question, why do I always self-sabotage? Well, the short answer is it's your ego because it has a different agenda from you succeeding. But a big part of the problem is in the question itself or in the way you ask the question. Do you notice the structure and the negative words? I always self-sabotage? That's part of the so common habit of negative self-talk and negative image. So many people use these expressions every day. I'm always late. I can never lose weight. I always attract the wrong relationships. So as if there is nothing for me to do about it. But do you realize that detrimental influence such an expression can have on you? on your self-image, on what you achieve. The continuous use of negative self-talk actually tells your subconscious mind that this is the truth you want to believe about yourself. This is the image you want to create. And your ego, the ego which always wants to be right, helps you with all means possible to achieve that result, to achieve that what you expect of yourself so that you don't let yourself down. So you're always late, so you never lose weight. And of course there are multiple layers in the reasons of why you self-sabotage. Well, that's why there are NLP practitioners like me, NLP life coaches who work with clients individually. But you, you want to start changing and you want to start turning things around so that you can achieve your goals. And that's why I'm giving you my top three tips today. Number one, start observing the negative talk you use about yourself, the negative words you use in the same sentence as you. And start writing them down. Start writing the key expressions. And if you have to, slap yourself on the wrist every time you put I and a negative word in the same sentence. Number two, let's take the game to the next level. Observe yourself when you judge other people because projection is reflection. So what happens usually is if there are traits within, um, within yourself that you don't quite like, you hate them even more when you see them in other people and they annoy you. Those traits annoy you big time because there is something that's bugging you about them. So what you can do at this stage is just observe yourself when you judge others. We have a separate video on judgment and why we do it. But for the time being, your task is just notice when you do it and observe your reaction. And number three, very, very important. Put time aside and sit down and write new positive statements that replace your negative labels about yourself. Things like, I'm a confident, healthy person. Things like, I always make it on time. I always achieve my goals. I attract the right relationships. I meet the right people at the right place. And then, turn these into affirmations. And for that, of course, go and watch my video on affirmations. So, I'll leave you with that because you're a person with clear intentions and you always achieve your goals. And now go and follow the, the tasks that I just gave you.